Anyone else want to try? Stupid zero tech! No! Hello YouTube, LD50 here, back another video. And today, after a long time away, we are going to have another look at Gun Amara. Uh, haven't done a gun build for Amara for a long while. I really did want to wait until we reach to 72. Um, so that we could really get all of the uh, the good stuff um, and you know approach what would hopefully be a final build um, Gearbox have said that they're not going to increase the level cap uh, again in the foreseeable but they said that last time so who knows uh, but it is my opinion that it's probably about the maximum they can um, increase the level cap uh, and that is because not everyone has the fourth skill tree and if uh, we had any more skill points than this uh, over three trees it would just be uh, stupid so i'm imagining that uh, this will be the final level cap for borderlands 3 uh, so we're going to dive right into gunamara we've got some tasty weapons here um, and we've got a tasty skill tree, which we're going to talk about. Uh, we'll have a look at the weapons first. Um, so, with Amara, you can play a variety of skills. Um, uh, for Gun Amara, I don't recommend using Phase Flare. I would recommend using Ties That Bind uh, for most circumstances uh, in mobbing. Uh, and I would pair that with a Stillness of Mind. And for bossing, I would uh, recommend going for um, face cast and uh, using face cast anointed gear. But we'll talk about that now. So, I've been having a lot of success with the Blood Starved Beast. Um, it's a very, very good uh, SMG. Uh, very powerful. Uh, the Plasma Coil is also a good choice. Uh, but so is something like the Herald. Um, and obviously the OPQ and then depending on which uh, action skill you want to use you would either have uh, say on the un OP um, say on this uh, unkept, Har unkept herald for face slam you'd probably want to use the face clam weapon damage increased by 250% anointment and four ties that bind uh, on action skill end splash damage and for the OPQ I would recommend face cast weapon damage for a face cast build and the next two mags of some sort, um, this one here has got next two mags corrosive for a ties that bind build. Um, I would recommend for the Bloodstaff Beast, I would always recommend going for next two mags uh, with an appropriate element. So this one is uh, cryo and uh, we've got next two mags radiation on it. Um, plasma coil, we've got next two mags cryo. Uh, for bossing, uh, for big bosses like Grave Ward or um, Wotan, I'd recommend something like a Light Show maybe. Um, and again, depending on what build you're running, you would either go for um, Next to Mag's uh, Elemental Damage. Um, the reason I have Next to Mag's Corrosive on this Corrosive is this is the uh, Light Show I use for Wotan. Um, but you could also use face class uh, 250 uh, if you wanted. And again with the uh, fire uh, for Grave Ward or the Ruiner. Uh, but other options that work very well would be the No Pew Pew. Uh, you would have seen that in the opening um, to this video. And even our good friend the Monarch. Um, Rowan's Call also a very good option. Uh, you could even use a butcher with next two mags for some uh, mobbing situations um, with regard to the shield um, so in most instances we will probably be using the revolter shield and the pearl uh, but you could if you wanted to uh, change to a frozen heart and then change to uh, something like an icebreaker victory rush uh, this would be good in tight mobbing situations where everything will get frozen and you will get that v2 damage uh, from the icebreaker 
Um, you could even um, change your uh, action skill element to cryo if you wanted to uh, you know, improve the efficiency of the icebreaker. But I'm personally finding that in most uh, circumstances the pearl is giving me um, the best all-round damage. You might get a specific company man that would give you more damage, but then that would limit you to one manufacturer of weapons. And I think for a gun build, you want to be able to use all the weapons. Um, so, weapons that uh, are good, OPQ, Harold, Plasma Coil, Blood Style Beast, Light Show. Uh, the Free Radical is an excellent choice. Uh, the Chaosun is a good choice. Uh, the calls are good choices. Uh, so any of the meta weapons will do. Um, shield wise we're going to use this revolter for most situations. And the reason we're going to do that is it gives us the 200% uh, shock damage. Uh, this also will apply if you go into fight for your life. So if your um, shield breaks and you get hit again from... Uh, in fight uh, you know to take you into fight for your life you will have the extra bonus there and the frozen heart will trigger uh, the same situation so um, both of these shields uh, offensive and defensive uh, grenades uh, I quite like an it's piss grenade uh, but you may prefer to use uh, a hex grenade and the reason you might prefer a hex grenade is a hex grenade will work very well with the pearl. It will increase the stacks and give you this uh, consecutive hit stacks or keep them up a lot easier. And then uh, for our class mod, um, good old phase Zerker is really the best choice. Uh, you could try some other options. Uh, you could try a golden rule. Uh, you could try a death blessing. Uh, you could try a Kensai if you were running a Jacobs build, and you could try a driver com if you had a suitable elemental projector to pair it with. At the moment, I don't have a suitable elemental projector. I'm looking for an elemental projector Victory Rush to go with this driver. Um, at some point in the future, if I come across one, I may update this video a little bit. But I'm finding that the Phaserka is possibly about the best. And I have this level 65 one here, which is giving me um, pretty much all of the roles that I, I want. So um, I believe that it's slightly better than that 72. Uh, this is an alternative uh, phase Zerka with a few less points in Anima and a few points into Clarity. So that is the uh, weapons that we want to use. Um, whichever your favourite weapons are will pretty much work with this build. Um, that's the weapons that I like to use. So uh, going through the skills. Uh, we will I think uh, start with the blue tree. Uh, it's a fairly standard blue tree build. Uh, we're wanting to get all of the way down to Avatar. Avatar will allow us to spam our action skill a little bit more. Obviously, if you're using face cast, uh, this is going to have a slightly longer cooldown uh, than ties that bind or phase grasp. So Avatar will allow us to uh, use our action skill once more whilst it's on cooldown. Um, we're going to go 5 into 5 uh, for do harm because that will increase our action skill damage. That applies to ties that bind and phase cast. Uh, 3 out of 3 into fast hands because uh, reload speed, weapon swap speed, mode swap speed if you're using um, you know, uh, weapons with a secondary firing mode. That's really, really useful. Single point into violent tapestry, that just helps keep, help us keep our rush stacks up. We are using the phase zerker after all. 3 out of 3 into transcend for that crit damage. And a couple of points into alacrity to improve uh, reload further. This uh, is particularly important with uh, magazines that are quite small. So on the Harold or other magazines that have a smaller capacity. Single point into Ascendant to improve the efficiency of all of our uh, action skill augments, depending on what we want to take. Uh, laid Bear, great skill, particularly with face cast. Uh, you can use your face cast. It damages 
um, the enemy and then they get a basically a 25% debuff it allows you to do 25% more damage for 8 seconds useful for bossing uh, Roth a uh, great gun damage increase um, for Amara 3 out of 3 into Awakening to improve, improve our rush stacks single point into Remnant uh, we want the overkill damage um, and then a single point into Avatar on the purple tree we are just taking the points here for the projectile speed and splash damage so that will help with slower moving um, projectiles the blood star beast is a bit of a slow moving projectile um, and it will obviously improve any weapons that do splash damage and it will allow us to get uh, our um, corrosive sorry um, cryo action skill element should we wish to use it in the green tree we're going to take a 3 out of 3 into personal space because this is a fantastic uh, skill for gun based Amara builds closer you are to the enemy you can get up to 54% uh, damage I believe it's a V1 or a V2 damage so it's a, a multiplicative damage increase a couple of points into clarity to help us get down the tree uh, a little bit of a health regen it's not massive uh, you could put your points into root to rise if you like uh, arms deal definitely want to put 5 out of 5 into arms deal this uh, improves our splash damage and improves our splash damage reduction which gives us increased survivability and then 3 out of 3 into mindfulness mindfulness is a great skill to have um, it will improve shield uh, it will improve the read the delay on our shield so we'll get our shield back quicker and it will give us movement speed which means that we can uh, move around the battlefield easier and the reason that uh, shield um, skills are so important with Borderlands 3 is because uh, with our guardian perk topped off we get action skill cooldown rate while at full shield so the quicker we can get our shields back the quicker we get our action skill back uh, we also use shield reboot and emergency response in our guardian perks here to improve our shield um, statistics as well then finally we're going to have a look at the red tree so I'm putting three out of three into steady hands that will increase our accuracy which will make weapons um, more usable at long distance uh, there is two points into let me take the com off so we can see two points into anima and that was as you can see further boosted by the com but don't worry if you don't get a com with five out of five into anima the um, the mechanics of the com is really what you're looking for so if you only had some points into anima and you had points into uh, Conflux off of the com, or you had points into clarity off the pom off the com, absolutely fine. Um, you might actually find that uh, you even make the build a little bit more survivable. Anima can be a little bit of a trap if it's boosted, because it um, increases the duration of dots, and if you apply a dot to yourself from a barrel or the enemy dots you, um, you can go into fight for your life. Uh, 5 out of 5 into Tempest, uh, Amara is an elemental character and so we want to boost all the elemental damage as much as we can. Um, we're not putting any points into Infusion. We don't need to convert any damage, we're going all the way down to Forceful Expression so don't put points into Infusion if you're going to go all the way down to Forceful in, in, in Expression, you are just wasting points here. So we won't uh, put any points into there. We did put a point into Dread and we do need to get down. So Wildfire is the skill that I've chosen to put some points into. Uh, you could possibly bung a few points down to, into Conflux if you want, as long as you get down the tree to Forceful Expression. Um, it's important on the way to take Indiscriminate. Indiscriminate is an incredibly powerful skill. Pairs very well with the Grasp. Uh, suite of action skills so that's ties that binds or phase grasp or if you were to use the eternal fist or fist over matter then any of these uh, skills will uh, work with indiscriminate uh, one point into deep well because that will improve our magazine size and three out of three into catharsis again just to get down the tree 
um, we're, we're putting a two points into sustainment which will be our main source of healing and then obviously all the way down to forceful expression which is giving us uh, a nearly 20 percent extra bonus elemental damage on top of uh, whatever our weapon is doing as i said uh, for most boss bo bo uh, sorry mobbing situations uh, ties that bind um, i think is the best uh, action skill to use uh, but if you like to use face cast use face cast for bossing i would heartily recommend you use face cast and you use face cast anointed weapons that will give you a massive boost to the weapons damage and obviously some bosses can't be face grasped anyway uh, with regard to your action skill element uh, use whichever element is suitable uh, often I will leave uh, the element as shock because it's fairly neutral but if I'm going to be going to an area with a lot of flesh enemies I would then obviously want to choose soul fire and if I was going up against robots or I was going up against Wotan I'd want to choose blight tiger obviously uh, cold hearted is a good choice as well if you want to concentrate on cryo and you're using the icebreaker artifact this is an end game build uh, we really want to be investing as many points as we can um, in our guardian rank um, groundbreaker not so important um, but some of the skills that are a bit deeper in the tree um, come on a slam is if you like to slam is useful because obviously you can slam without jumping off of a height a uh, hollow point is a good skill uh, ccc combo again um, great uh, increase to damage over on the green tea tree as i mentioned we want to get down to topped off and for survivability you really do want to have dead man's hand and too angry to die um, this is a great skill because uh, if you stay still um, and you do damage in fight for your life this will help you uh, extend the fight for your life period dead man walking not moving in fight for your life will improve the uh, duration of fight for your life there so uh, too angry to die dead man walking very imp important for um, survivability and then in, down the green tree uh, the most important really one uh, one here really is topped off so you do want to have invested a few points into your guardian perk uh, guardian rank here as you can see I've got a rank of 710 because I don't really have a life and I just play the game but it works for me so that is the build um i think we'll probably go and do one little run through a map just to it. show it off um i think i'll do a ties that bind run and then maybe swap over to um phase slam for the uh whichever boss at the end of whichever map we do so i'll meet you over at a map in a minute and uh, we'll do a little bit of combat uh, so i'll see you there bye for now Welcome back, we're here over at uh, Jack's VIP tower, I think we'll run through all the map here, do the bosses on the way and see how we get on.
as you can see with ties that bind uh, we are able to just pretty much destroy uh, Freddy there we'll move up to the uh, big boss and I think we'll change over to a phase cast build so I've equipped uh, a phase cast a light show in fire and corrosive in fact we'll just swap those round the other way because we need the corrosive first and we'll swap our action skill to phase cast And as you can see, uh, fairly short work of the boss. Um, nice, easy build to play, uh, whether you play the Tires That Bind or whether you play the face cast version. Um, works well with a variety of weapons, um, good survivability and health regen from um, sustainment, uh, plenty of gun damage, plenty of elemental damage. Uh, so there you go, that is my Gun Amara build. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a like. It would give me some motivation to make more videos, and I do encourage you to try the build out. Uh, you don't need perfect comm, you don't need perfect gear. Um, it will operate throughout all of the content of Borderlands 3. Um, it's powerful enough to do all of the takedowns. Uh, so there we go that really is um, that's the build for today we're just going to call this Gunamara I don't give it any silly titles we'll just call it Gunamara um, we'll just review the skill tree quickly so blue tree all the way down to the bottom red tree all the way down to the bottom a few points in the green tree and uh, very minimal points in the purple tree and then we're using either times that bind or face cast uh, we were using uh, weapons like the Blood Star of Beast. Um, OPQ system is very good. Uh, we were using these light shows with face cast anointment for doing the bossing. Uh, we were using a Revolta, but obviously you could also use a Frozen Heart if you wanted to pair it with an Icebreaker. Um, some type of uh, action skill end anointed uh, grenade. Uh, I like that it's piss, but you could also use Hex or any other grenade that suits you. Uh, we used a pearl with this build and we used a phase zerker and we were playing on mayhem 11 because i don't like the modifiers and that was our guardian rank so that is the gunamara build updated for level 72 i've been having a lot of fun with it um, nice to get back into gun build amara um, as opposed to the usual melee builds that i do uh, so this is uh, me signing off for today. I've been LD50, you've been lovely, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.